Texas down 14 to 10 with the football at their own nine yard line. Sam Ellinger, the freshman from Austin. Here's Foreman around the corner. And Foreman will be tackled for about a five, maybe a six yard loss. Cameron Smith, first man to him. A great play by Cameron Smith, and he's going to have to be great on this series. They've got three defensive front seven players that are out. Rasheem Green, Porter Gustin, and John Houston, all starters, all out with injuries. Second and 14. Another false start. False start. Offense number 88. After the distance of the goal, second down. That's Kendall Moore, the graduate transfer from Syracuse. Should be noted that Garrett Gray, the starting tight end to begin the year, has been banged up. And they have lost him. So Kendall Moore having to start 6'6, 250, but gets an early start there. And this is not where you want to be with a true freshman late in the ball game. Second down and 16 at the three. Ellinger sprints out. Back of the end zone. Over, across, caught, and a first down for UT. Lil Jordan found a soft spot, and he picks up 16 yards. And it was almost intercepted. Watch this play from the safety position. That's Chris Hawkins, and he almost gets there, but Lil Jordan is able to find the soft spot, and Ellinger finds him for the first down. Texas with some breathing room. They'll run it this time with Warren. And he picks up five. Cameron Smith with the tackle. Second and five at the 24. USC looks confused. Ellinger with time. And he gets rid of it out of bounds. Well, the replacement for Cameron Smith is Levi Jones. He's a true freshman from Texas, and he's the one that forces Ellinger out of the pocket and runs him down. Third down and five, 325 to go. Gus, their only offense has been Colin Johnson. This is the biggest snap of the game right here. Johnson, the receiver on the far side of the field. Number nine, there he is. Five catches, 123 yards. USC is going to have to burn a timeout. Sellout crowd, the first since 2013 at the Coliseum, where the Trojans played Stanford. Ellinger, empty backfield. He's got good wheels. Ellinger steps up, breaks a tackle, rolls, looks, runs, dives, and it looks like a first down. Boy, he was awful close to that sideline. I thought he stepped out a couple yards short of the first down marker. Watch as he starts to tightrope the sideline. And his left foot right there was close, but then that heel, tough to say, but that ball sure did look like it got across the line to gain. What an amazing effort. They did say it was short, and it did look like he kept his heel off that sideline. You know, at this point, if you're Texas, you've got to assume that you're not getting this. You cannot be talking about a first down call. You've got to be talking about a fourth down call if you're Tom Herman. At this point, I think your best option is to stay with Ellinger and run some sort of a quarterback counter where he keeps the football. Because remember, USC's defense is decimated with injuries. You've got to get that first down. I would run over the left side of the offensive line. That's where your veterans are. Patrick, Patrick Vahe and Tristan Nicholson. So here we go. 3-11 to go. Texas. 
going forward on fourth down and one. And Sam Ellinger and the Texas offense line up. Fourth and one. Porter in the backfield. Ellinger runs it. And it looks like he will get that first down. Well, that's exactly what they did. They tried to fool USC with that motion, kind of a jet sweep action with Foreman running across the set. But that was a designed run for the quarterback the entire time. And I'll tell you what, that is some serious effort because he was contacted by Cameron Smith short of the line to gain, and he was still able to get it. Tim Beck, his OC, said Sam is tough, hard nosed. He could be a linebacker. First down and 10 at the 30. Tell you what, the miscommunication between Zach Shackelford and Sam Ellinger is Criminal. amazing. Ball starts. Offense number 64. 10 yard penalty. First down. Zach Shackelford, the center, a sophomore, 6'5, 305 pounds. He's on the Remington watch list as one of the better centers in the country. But they cannot get on the same page as it relates to the snap count. We've seen two snaps surprise Ellinger tonight. They lost one of those as a fumble. Ellinger had to throw the other away, and there, Shackelford just didn't even budge. First and 15. Ellinger with time. Down the field! Incomplete! No flag. Intended for Lorenzo Jones. Jack Jones was in coverage. Great coverage down the field. Now USC is a man team, and Jack Jones has his eyes all over the football and just gets tangled up with the feet. Excellent no, no call by the officials. You see that ball was perfectly thrown. But Lorenzo Joe was just unable to keep his feet. Second and 15 at the 25. Ellinger. Deep again, sideline, Johnson, it's got it, inside the 30, Colin Johnson, Texas with hope, 2.04 to go. That's been the offense for Texas, is finding Colin Johnson, and why not, 6'6", 220, working against Jack Jones, who's only 5'11", that's a mismatch right there, folks, and Johnson's able to go upstairs and bring it down. His ability to catch that 50-50 ball is pretty fantastic. Six catches, 170 yards, first and 10. At the USC 28, down by four. The true freshman making plays. Play action. Ellinger in the end zone. Incomplete. And Colin Johnson was open. Yeah, he was. Ellinger let go of that ball a little too soon. The timing not quite there. Johnson would have been open inside. You see how he set up Jack Jones to the outside and then he made that inside move and he was open, but Ellinger had already made the decision to throw it to the outside. Second and 10. From the 28 of USC. Ellinger steps up in the pocket. Bottled up, scrambles, throws on the move, and incomplete. Will Jordan, the intended receiver, and that brings up third down and long. You know, against man coverage, which USC is playing here, you've got to get guys running across the field. Slant passes, drag routes. Right now, Texas is trying to throw everything vertically down the field. If they get someone moving across the field, they'll have some open space. Colin Johnson, the receiver at the bottom of your screen. You would expect Ellinger to throw it to him. Third and ten. Here comes a blitz. Ellinger looks for Johnson. And that one thrown high. Incomplete. 
And that'll make it fourth down and 10 at the 28. They were going one spot and one spot only, and that ball was just airmailed. Good timing. Johnson ran a great route. He was open, but the ball was overthrown. Texas calls a timeout. They have one remaining. So here we go. Fourth and 10 at the 28. A minute 19 remaining. Texas down by four. Sam Ellinger. Johnson's double covered. Trips at the top of your screen. Ellinger dropping, looking over the middle. And caught. First down, UT Armani Foreman. The Longhorns still alive. I tell you what, Ellinger wanted to go to Colin Johnson. The double coverage, though, and he makes the great decision to come back and a great catch by Foreman. Longhorns with one timeout after the 11-yard game from the USC 17. Ellinger in the end zone. And incomplete. Lorenzo Joe, the intended receiver. It's young. Much easier, I imagine, when you're doing it yourself. I was going to say, he's probably more nervous now than he was back in the Rose Bowl of 2006. Second and 10 at the USC 17 for Texas. Under a minute to go. They have one timeout left. Ellinger with time. Ellinger flushed out. Throws. Touchdown, Texas. Foreman. Wow. The freshman, Ellinger, is 45 seconds away. Tom Herman, 6 and 0 oh, against ranked opponents as a head coach. Drew Brees, maybe. What a play. They're going to review this, but what a catch. He secured the ball, got two feet, and then he maintained possession going to the ground. That is an all-time gutsy performance from Sam Ellinger. And this is only his second start. First one on the road in front of 93,000. All right, all right, all right. That's what I love about college football. After review, the on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. 45 seconds remaining in the fourth. The Longhorns. Seconds away from a signature win against the fourth ranked team in the country. On the road. And that, folks, was our expectation-shattering drive of the game sponsored by Buick. He had all the time in the world, but what I love is that Foreman never stopped on the play down the field. He was lined up all the way on the left side, and he just kept running and running along with his quarterback and then made the catch along the sideline. Jack Jones was in coverage. He tripped and fell. And Tom Herman, has he done it again? We will see in 45 seconds. However, we saw what happened with five seconds to go in the first half. Well, USC able to score. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going through the minds of the Texas defenders. Cameron Smith cannot believe it. He was the one chasing Ellinger out of the pocket. That pass rush disappeared. Remember the pass rush before half? It was just 
relentless, sacking Ellinger, Ellinger on three straight snaps, but it disappeared late.